think the primary thing was an analogy about um, the transformation between phones as we knew them, handheld kind of landline devices to iPhones, um, in that that wasn't just a better version of a phone, it was actually an entirely new thing. Um, and, and that being used as a analogy for net zero really kind of clarified, I think, some things for me. And I saw it as um, a, a potentially really helpful analogy to use with consumers. There were some interesting insights about the younger generation. Um, younger, I think, than myself. I think they're talking about Gen Z. Um, and the kinds of things that they're looking for in an energy market in the future. My feeling is that consumers' expectations won't necessarily change, um, but obviously technology will. So energy is an essential service. Um, and if you can't pay for your ongoing usage, um, you risk disconnection from that essential service. Um, which obviously has, you know, massive effects. You can't have uh, energy, you can't have heating, cooling, light, refrigeration, access to technology, and so on. I think this um, emphasis on engagement um, worries me, and, and we saw that in the panel as well. Um, yeah, I think that the system should uh, work for someone regardless if the, of, of if they engage um, and that includes you know obviously maintaining supply um, because yeah it is a right at the end of the day um, and it's an essential service so yeah I'd, I'd like to see that incorporated into the discussions as well.